Greetings, everyone. Today, I'm excited to put my new capture card to the test as me and the boys dive into another thrilling match of Dead by Daylight. This time, George is playing as Kate Denson, Barack as Fang Min, I play as my cutie Ellen Ripley, and Donald, as always, Claudette Morell. That's right, my sleepy old friend. I'm glad you finally got out of your way and bought a capture card. You know, you wouldn't even have to buy a capture card if you two had a solid gaming PC like George and me. I just record using Streamlabs. Yeah, PC Master Race. I could barely afford the card. How the hell should I be able to buy a damn gaming PC for like $2,000? I don't know. Sell lemonade or just don't fuck up the economy so badly. Fuck you, George. Who just joined our Discord? Hello, guys. Wait, what? Michelle? Look, what are you? Since you won't stop playing this fucking game, I thought I'd try it myself. Oh, so you try showing interest in my hobbies so we can spend more time together. That's so nice of you. Yeah, that's not quite the truth. I don't like where this is going. You see, Barack, I started playing a few weeks ago without telling you. It turns out I'm a fairly good killer. Who would have thought? Me. Me. Silent scum. Anyway, I crafted a plan to snipe your lobby and take you and all your garbage friends down. I will repeat that until you are fed up with this game and finally start doing productive stuff like the dishes. What sort of monstrous individual would go to such lengths just to deny their own spouse the last sanctuary from the trials of everyday existence? He is right, love. Why would you do this to me? I'm your husband for crying out loud. Yeah, he loves you, Michelle. He would do everything for you. Everything but the dishes. Enough talk. Time to die. You foolish old hag. Do not assume we will simply yield to your desires. We will fiercely defend our cause with all our might. George, do you have that medieval thing going on again? But he is right. We will defend Barack with everything we have. Thanks for activating my haunted ground perk, George. Now to your obese ass Trump. I will never understand why Obama is even hanging out with you. I will slaughter you first. Fuck, get off me, you stupid bitch. Watch your words, Donald. That's my wife you are speaking to. She is literally trying to take your beloved hobby from you just because you didn't do the dishes. How can you defend her? I don't know. It's just, she is my wife, and I love her. I understand Barack, but here and now, she is our enemy. It's time to stand up for yourself. Be a man and start playing like you never played before. You are right, guys. Thanks so much for your support. I won't let her take this away from us. You might be the boss in real life, Michelle. But today, I will show you who rules in game. That's the spirit, Barack. You haven't showed me much yet. Your fat friend got hooked already and there is not even one generator done. You noobs have no chance against me. We will see about that, you ugly ass fuck tard. Barack, do you really let him talk to me like that? Sorry, Michelle. You brought this upon yourself. You are my enemy right now. They can call you whatever they want to. Wow, Barack, you grew a pair of balls the size of Jupiter. Let's show that bitch who she is going up against. Let's get you unhooked, Donald. Glad that she doesn't even know how to camp. Camping isn't the best strategy for a 4K, but of course you noobs don't know about that. Next I will fuck you up, Sleepy Joe. Damn it, I tried to mind game but failed miserably. Of course you did. Your calcified brain can't compete with a razor sharp mind like mine. There you go, you mummified joke of a president. Off to my next victim. And there still isn't even one gen done. Didn't you say you played this game for years, Barack? What a pathetic joke you and your friends are. Shut the hell up, Michelle. You, what? You heard me right. I have enough of your bullshit. We will defeat you no matter what. These boys are not only my friends, they are my SWF team. Such a relationship goes deeper than family or marriage. I won't let you destroy that. Thanks for the rescue and your kind words, Barack. We can still do this. She had us in the first half, but now it's our turn. Let's do a fucking gen rush. She is on my ass again. I will juke her as long as I can. Good job, Don. If we split up doing gens, she won't be able to stop all of us. Keep it up. And there you go down again, Fatso. Your enthusiasm is hilarious. Hey guys, never back down, never what? Never, never give, give up. up. That's right. She may have hooked me, but we have so many generators across the map at like 80%. Just because none has popped yet doesn't mean that we are fucked. Your cholesterol-soaked brain must have completely failed now. Otherwise, I have no explanation for your delusion. She's on me, boys. I will show her my mighty jukes. 
In that case, I will unhook Donald. Does it have to be you? Ah, oh, fuck it. Just get me down. Why can't I fucking get you, George? You piece of shit. Get hit already. Come on, Michelle. Try to get a piece of that juicy white ass. I thought you were good at this. I will fucking rip you apart, you plane crashing son of a bitch. Hurry up, Joe. I'm here, little Don. Let me sniff that hair. Oh, God, not this again. Hmm. Oh, yes, that's it. Hmm. Why is it always me getting saved by this creep? Please concentrate, guys. We have to get Barack out of this. Speaking of my lazy, useless husband, what did my eyes just see in that corner over there? You can't hide from me, Barack, neither in real life nor here. Wait, where did you little piece of shit go? George is not the only one with some tricks up his sleeves. We have wasted enough time. Let's finish these gens already, guys. Barack is right. We have so many gens nearly done. This will be a piece of cake. Where are you shitheads all hiding? Show yourselves. It's time for you to get humbled, Michelle. Wait, get of that gen. We pull this through, George. Aye, Captain. Take that, you incarnation of evil. There is no fucking way you get away from me this time, George. Your jukes can't help you anymore. And even worse, your sacrifice won't even matter. You still have four gens to do. You noobs are fucked. Try me then. I will loop you into oblivion and beyond. You are doing great, George. These gens are coming along nicely. Just distract her a little longer. Oh, look who I finally found. Come to Mama Barak. Uh, guys, she switched targets. No problem. I got this. Michelle, now you will learn what misery feels like. I will fucking kill you, you little brat. You know, Michelle, the best way to secure a win in DBD is to keep calm and don't let your hate and toxicity take over. I learned that the hard way. Are you seriously trying to give me a lesson in emotional maturity? You, the child living in an adult body? In life, it's important to hold on to a touch of childlike wonder. The ability to see the world with fresh eyes, to ask why and how, and to embrace curiosity is what fuels innovation and progress. Children are not burdened by preconceived notions or cynicism. They approach the world with open hearts and open minds. As adults, we should strive to maintain that spark of curiosity and playfulness, as it often leads us to new ideas and solutions. I'm not afraid to stay a little childish, for in doing so, I can continue to learn, grow, and make the world a better place. You, Michelle, you lack this ability. Ha, I finally got you. You talk too much, just like in real life. All this talk, but not backing it up. Typical Barack. Don't listen to that evil witch, Barack. You did great. We have only two gens left. It was a wonderful speech, Barry. Wish my own team of writers could deliver such an outstanding performance. I will take her aggro. She will never catch me. We will see about that, Towers. Your luck has faded. I will shove this sword up your ass. Try me, bitch. Barack should start shoving up something your ass again. Um, guys, don't let me hang here, please. Sorry, Barack. I thought Trump will get you. On my way now. I thought the same about you, Joe. Let's get him down and healed as fast as possible. Hurry, I can't distract her much longer. You finally made a mistake, you little piece of shit. Not good, two people down, this could end badly. Damn right, this will end very bad for all of you. Don't listen to her, Dawn. Let's unhook and heal Barack, and then we will finally finish the last two gens. He is right, I'm only in my first hook stage. You have plenty of time. Thanks, you two. I really appreciate your support. Nothing to thank us for, Barack. I know you would help me too if my wife would turn out to be a total maniac. I will show you a maniac, you human-shaped pile of garbage. I got her aggro. Do the gens and rescue George. I want us all to escape. But Don, you are dead on hook. I... Doesn't matter, Joe. I got this. Trust me. Okay. I trust you, Don. I will get you down, George. Would be a shame if you would hit the second stage. Now would be the perfect time for that. I lured her away from your Jen and George. How can such a fat man be so fast and agile? I may be a little overweight, but my fingers are like bodybuilders, trained through years of hitting buttons on a controller. Fuck it, this is a total waste of my time. Fuck, be cautious. She turned around to you, Barack. Thanks for the warning, Don. I will finish this Jen no matter what. Get yourself healed and look out for the last Jen. 
I'm coming back to your side of the map, Joe. I ran past a generator there. Join me and we will finish that thing. All right, Donald. I will be able to finish this, Jen, but I will have to take a hit. Damn right you have to. Take this, you lazy old shadow of a president. I'm right next to the gen I mentioned. I'm healing myself. Just start the gen. Come on, just let me heal you. Fine, but don't be weird again. When was I ever weird while healing? Mm. Oh, yes. At this exact moment, for example. Cut it out, you two. There's only one gen left and Barry is getting chased. Get to work. Okay, boss, but what are you doing exactly? I'm monitoring the situation and I'm on the lookout for another gen, just in case. Haha, <laughs> I got your new bass, Barack, on the hook with you. Shit, that's not good. Don't worry, Joe. I'm not dead yet. It's only my second hook stage. You will be dead soon enough. But now I have to deal with those other two brats upstairs. I think she meant us, Joe. You are probably right about that. You better run away, Don. You're on your last hook. I'm like five steps ahead of you. Don't let her catch you. Where are you, little suckers? I won't let you finish this, Jen. I basically ran across the whole map, Michelle. It wouldn't be reasonable to follow my scratch marks. Shut up, you senile jar fart. How could Barack ever select such a weak old creep as his VP? Because he is my friend, Michelle. Donald and George, too. And I won't let you talk shit about my friends. Yeah, we are the only ones allowed to talk shit about each other's. Huh. And what are you going to do about it? Without me, you are nothing, Barack. Without me, you would have never become president. Without me, you can't survive this harsh world. You need me. You depend on me. Don't listen to her, Barack. You've always shown that you're your own person, independent and strong, regardless of your partnership with Michelle. Your accomplishments speak to your individuality and character. Yeah, Barack. Don't let her manipulation attempts get to your head. While love and partnership are crucial, it's equally important to safeguard your individuality and independence. Your unique qualities and personal growth have always been admirable, and it's vital to retain that sense of self amidst the closeness of your relationship. Um, whatever these two just said, I agree. Thank you for your kind words. I really needed that. I will face her while you finally finish the last gen. Come on, you manipulative spawn of hell. Ha 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 We already had this, you demented geezer. I will just mind game you in seconds. Not this time. I am more focused than I have been in my 20s. Bring it on. Ha ha ha. We will see about that. Fuck. Is that all you have? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I will fucking kill you. Sorry that I must tell you that, Barack, but it seems your wife went completely nuts. Uh, it was bound to happen at some point. Joe, I completely forgot about your adrenaline. Nice job. Yeah, but she has rancor, and I'm her target. No! 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 That was meant for Barack! You ruined it. You ruined my fucking plan. I will at least get you for that. Joe, you piece of shit. I will kill you. Kill you. Kill you. Wow, shit. She really went fucking crazy. Barack, you might want to call the police or something. You don't deserve a death like that, my friend. Be free. No, no. Joe won't fucking escape. <laughs> I won't let him leave. He stays here with me and suffers for eternity. I'm opening the exit. Run, Joe. I will try to take a hit. Fuck. <laughs> I told you he is not allowed to leave. He must pay for his crime. He must suffer. Maybe I can body block? It's OK, George. I'm lost. I want you to revive Donald and escape. I want you all to live. <laughs> die. Die. Up. Die. Thank you for your sacrifice, Joe. Thanks to all of you, I could finally escape my crazy ass wife in game and real life. Michelle, I'm moving out. You what? You can't just move out. You need me. As my dear friends already pointed out, I do not depend on you. <laughs> no, you aren't allowed to leave. Michelle, I do not need your allowance. Donald, would you be willing to take me in for tonight? Gladly, my good friend. Melania will prepare our guest room. You can stay as long as you want to. No, no! He's not allowed to go. I do not allow it. Listen to me, listen to- I finally managed to kick her out. Thank God, her voice is so annoying. I will pick you up, Barack. I'm worried about your well-being. The Secret Service will escort us. 
Trump, is it okay if I hop over to? We could play some Call of Duty zombies to cool off a little. Great idea. George, you will come too, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. And we should order burgers. I'm starving. I fucking love you guys. Thanks for everything. Oh, I forgot, I'm still recording. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you don't want to miss any future video. Bye.